Hi, I'm Anastasia. Do you want to learn how to upload videos on Pinterest? Great, because in this video, I will show you how to create video pins using your mobile phone and on a desktop computer. And stick with me for my three fastest ways to create video pins in a matter of seconds. But first, you should know what are the recommended best practices for video length and format. We'll open here the official Pinterest page and you will see that they recommend video pins for organic feed to be between 15 seconds and 1 minute. And if you're going to use this video as a promoted pin, meaning you want to run it as an advertising on Pinterest, in that case it should be even shorter, just between 6 and 15 seconds only. Pinterest reminds you that some pinners watch videos with the sound off, so don't rely on audio or dialogue. Use text overlay or captions to help tell your story. The next thing to keep in mind is to choose the cover image when you upload your video, so that people can understand what your video is about with just one glance. I'll show you how to choose it when we start uploading the video in just a few moments. The next tip is to optimize the text in the pin title and description for the main focus keyword for your pin. This is also important, but we will get there once we start uploading the pin. The best aspect ratio for video pins is obviously vertical, but square videos are also accepted on Pinterest. And I wanted to give you a pro tip that I use for my account all the time. Make sure to repurpose the short videos and not only save them as a video pin, but also, when it makes sense, create standard image pins as just a screenshot from the best part of your video. This way you can create two different pins linked to your page by reusing the same graphics. And also, make sure to upload these videos as the first slide when you create your idea pins. I have a video that shows how to create idea pins and I'll give you a link to that video in the description below so you can watch it later. You know, video pins on Pinterest can be linked to a particular page on your site, which is great because it allows you to drive traffic to your site. Idea pins, on the other hand, do not allow you to link to a destination page on your site, but they are the most recent format on Pinterest and Pinterest promotes them more than any other types of pins. You know, mobile users even have a separate watch tab that works similar to TikTok and users can just swipe up and see all the pins in this tab that are idea pins. So again, just make sure that you save your short videos on your device so that you can re-upload them again as the first slide of idea pins. Now, let's start uploading a video on a mobile device. Once you're logged in as a Pinterest user, click on this plus icon at the bottom of the screen. Here, make sure to choose to create a pin, not an idea pin, it's another different format. When you start creating a pin, you will be able to choose anything from your phone, either photos or videos. Now, the interface on your mobile phone could be a bit different depending on your device, but generally you should know how to search on the, in the folders of your phone. In my case, I can click here on all photos and go to search in all the folders on my phone for the particular video that I'd like to upload. Let's choose a video and click next. Now we need to pick a cover image. It should be something attractive. I find that people engage really well with numbers or graphs like this and large text on Pinterest. So I'm glad that I have it in this video and I'll just move to that part of the video and choose it as the cover. Click next in the top right corner and now we need to give our video pin a title and include some of the focus keywords. In this case, I want to use something like Pinterest marketing and although I have enough space to add additional keywords, I want to keep the main focus keywords closer to the beginning of the title and description. The description can be longer than the title, so we can add here even more related keywords. When I say add keywords, it doesn't mean that you should just post here a list of keywords separated by comma. That would be spammy. You should include keywords in a few sentences that make sense for users who read this text. Think of it as if you were writing the text for Google SEO. By the way, if you want to understand how search engine optimization works for Pinterest, check out my free Pinterest masterclass. The link will be up there and in the description below the video. It's also a good practice 
to add a call to action in the pin description, something like follow me for more Pinterest tips in my case. Now we need to add a destination link. It's a page on your website and I will open the page in this mobile browser, click copy link and now I'll go back to Pinterest and insert the link there. It will just ask me to confirm the destination link and click add. Now we have here an alt tag and you should add here something that explains what is on the pin. So I'll say Pinterest marketing tips and my Pinterest analytics. Here we can choose to publish the pin now. In that case, we just need to click done. But there is also an option to schedule the pin for a later date and time. We can schedule it up to a whole month in advance using this interface. Pay attention to the time of publication because if you want to target the audience in the United States like I do, you should choose evening hours, for example, in the Eastern time zone. Now, I live in Europe and the scheduler is set for my time zone, so I need to make the math in my head, minus about 5 hours. It means I have to schedule the pin for my 2 a.m. so that the pin gets published around 9 p.m. Eastern time. Now, click done and we have to choose the most relevant board for the topic of the spin. In this case, it's Pinterest tips. Now, if you want to check the spin, you should click on your profile image, then on the created tab. The first thing that you see here are your scheduled pins. Once you open that, you will see them by date and you can find the pin you just scheduled and if you need to edit something, you can still do it. So this was the way you can upload your video pins on a mobile phone. And now let's switch to my desktop computer and I'll show you how you can do it here. Okay, now to create a pin here on desktop, we will click on create, choose create pin. And here we will just find the file that we want to upload on the computer. Compared to mobile device, here you have an additional option. You can not only choose uh, some footage from your uh, video as a cover image, but you can also even upload a vertical image that will be used as a cover image. Um, so if you don't have anything interesting inside the video itself, you could create a separate image in Canva, let's say, and then upload it here. I found this moment in the video pretty interesting because it shows a screenshot with my ad revenue. So I will choose it here. Now I need to submit Pinterest title, description, the destination link. Let me do all of that. I'll just copy from the blog post itself. We can add some tags. We didn't have this option on the mobile device. And these tags have to be something that's relevant to the, to the pin. So it can be some keyword like blogging. It doesn't show anything. So let's try online business. Okay, starting a business. Uh, let's try maybe make money, make money, money. Okay, we have this money thing. Uh, blogging didn't give anything, so we'll skip it. Um, the alt text, I already mentioned that it has to describe what's on your pin. So let's say here how to make money blogging, five best ways. We can also choose to either publish this immediately or we can choose to publish at a later date and Unfortunately, here we can just choose um, the dates for the next two weeks. On the mobile device, we had an option to choose up to a month in advance. So I want to publish this vi video right now. So I'll choose publish immediately. Uh, we'll need to choose the right uh, board on the profile. So I want something like blogging, bloggers. So that's my board and I'll click publish. Now, if you want to find the pin you've just created, you go to the profile, click on this right top corner, click on the saved. From here, you'll go to this folder called all pins and the last, the latest pin should be your video pin. One thing I wanted to mention here is that even after publishing the video or any other pin for that matter, on the desktop computer, we have this option to add tags. It looks like this on the pin. Um, and when you click on it, you can add products if you are in a commerce store or you could search through instead of products pins, you could search through all of your pins. And I chose here some pins related to blogging. So these are the pins that are usually going to some checklists or some paid products. And then I clicked save products and they showed up as you noticed underneath the pin. So I'll click down and you'll see that. All these additional pins, they will show up under the pin and they will be showing up like this on the desktop and on mobile. I recommend you to tag those products additionally because it helps you get more clicks from the video pins. 
because with videos compared to just image uh, pins, uh, it's harder to get actual clicks and actual traffic to your site because when people just click on the video, it just restarts the video and play, plays it again. So adding these tags helps you get more traffic. Now, another way to create video pins that I actually use pretty often is through Tailwind Scheduler. Uh, I use it because it allows me to schedule each video pin to several boards and schedule it with intervals, but it also allows me to schedule video pins for much longer than even a month in advance. Uh, and I also want to mention here this a new feature in Tailwind that's like, it's called Ghostwriter that gives you some text that you actually can avoid writing the descriptions and even the titles for your pins, but let me show you how it works. If you want to create a Tailwind account, just use my link anastasiablogger.com slash Tailwind and you can use it as a free account. And then inside Tailwind, if you click here on drafts, when you click upload media, it will show all of your accounts. And I actually have several Pinterest accounts and I have also here my Instagram and Facebook accounts. And you can schedule for all of these networks uh, through your Tailwind account. But anyway, after uploading the, the, the video, uh, you will have it something like this in your drafts, uh, in the draft gallery. And here you will see you have this option ghost right for me but the first thing you need to do you can actually change the url because by default if you just uploaded the video by default it will be the home page of your site so you want to change the link and from there you will click ghost right for me and it will ask you in addition to the pin url it will ask you what you're writing about so you, you will choose either it's an informational content or a promotional article or lifestyle content, I'll say informational content in my case. Here you can actually just copy paste the title from your site to help the system understand what it will be about. Uh, you can choose some keywords that you want to use and you want uh, go the ghostwriter to include them there. So I would say blogging, uh, make money blogging. Um, I want to add a call to action. I recommend you to do that. Follow me for more. Um, blogging tips. Now we can just click generate descriptions and let's see what happens. So here is the full length description that Tailwind generated. You can actually see that there are three different options. Some is even longer. It includes several related keywords. So I think this option really makes it easier to save something on, on, on Pinterest. So we'll click save this description. Um, here we will choose uh, the specific uh, boards. If, if I wanted to save it to three different boards about blogging, I can choose a list of three boards. So the first one will be my board, the second board about blogging and blogging business tips. Now you will choose when to post your first pin. So we'll say that this one will be at 6 p.m. And it will automatically uh, apply the seven day interval between the pins. Uh, which is recommended best practice for Pinterest. So you can actually change it to daily, but Tailwind will tell you that the best experience for your audience is if you choose it weekly with a weekly interval. Now in Tailwind, you have a feature called Tailwind Communities. So I have several communities where people are just helping each other and sharing each other's pins. So I will submit my pin to several communities about blogging, striving bloggers and all of that. And now I can just click schedule post. You maybe notice that here in Tailwind, some of the features will be missing. Like you cannot, for example, tag products or you cannot add those tag keywords that I had in the native Pinterest scheduler. But you always have to find the balance between the benefits of one way of scheduling video pins or another. You've seen that with Tailwind, you can schedule much more than a month in advance. You can also schedule to several different boards and you can use this amazing ghostwriting feature. Now, I also promised to show you three different, very quick ways to create video pins. Uh, so the way number one that I use very often, it's Canva account. You can start your forever free account using my link anastasiablogger.com slash Canva. And inside Canva, what you need to do is just search for something like mobile video in the templates. And once you click here, you will see that it gives you a whole bunch of different options. You can actually use some of these filters on the left and choose different styles of the videos. But 
What's more, most important is that all these templates, they will be vertical videos. Usually they will be pretty short, which is great because I told you at the beginning of the video, we want videos between six seconds and maximum up to a minute. So when you just scroll through these templates, make sure that you choose something where you can easily read the text, that it's big enough and bold enough and that the text is in the top part of the pin. So once you choose it um, inside the template, you can basically change anything that you want. Canva allows you to um, cut some of the clips of the video. You can choose to make it much shorter. You just simply just click on this delete button and it makes your videos shorter. Uh, then you can also change the text, obviously, for your purposes. You can change the background video. You can find anything for the background inside Canvas free stock library for both photos and videos. So here are this photo library. And if you click here on videos, you'll get access to a lot of videos. On some of the videos and photos, you will see this pro icon, not all of them, many are free, but if you have, um, if you use Canvas Pro icon, it costs you just about $12 a month. And you should know that using stock video sites, um, it, it can be really costly. The, the cheapest probably like will cost you about $30 a month. So with Canva, you get this amazing app that allows you to build your pins. And at the same time, you get access to a huge library of free and premium videos and photos. And all of this for about, if it's a paid account, about $12 a month. So once you updated anything on your video, you will just click share. And here you need to make sure that you download it as an MP4 file. Um, in this case, the video is made as many different clips. So I could choose just several of these clips and instead of uh, downloading all of them, I could just download page one, two, three, for example. So it would be a shorter video. It's up to you. And it always depends on the specific template, how it's made. But then you can just click done and it will be downloaded as an MP4 file to your computer. The second really easy way to create video pins in Canva would be just to repurpose your existing image pins. So let's take this one. I have an image pin, it's static. Now I just can click animate and we can use any of these automatic animations to make the text and the photo, anything on this image pin start moving. And then we can save it after we added these animations. Now we can download it again as an MP4 file and this probably took me like about three seconds to create a video pin repurposing my existing image pins that I created in Canva earlier. And the next way to create short videos would be simply by using your phone. Just make sure that you hold it in the vertical position. For example, if you're a fashion blogger, you could film yourself standing right next to the mirror or if you are a home decor blogger you could just record a short footage of your space or some decoration items that you wanted to showcase now you know everything you needed to know about video pins make sure you didn't miss my video where i show you how i figured out the pinterest algorithm click up there and i will see you in that next video